what you looking for around y'all. There you are, stray dog here on top of this very windy hill. I hope it doesn't mess with the microphone today because it's pretty darn windy. This is Stray Dog Vlog number 14, but Haunted Dog Vlog number 2. And I have a question for you. What makes a place creepy? You know, we, we see buildings and we, we go to places and we say, that place is creepy. And I've often wondered, what makes a place creepy? Especially a place that maybe has a lot of history, is really old, and is now abandoned. That seems to add to the creepiness, and I've often wondered why that is. Is it because where so many people have been in a certain place that they leave just a little bit of their energy and when we go there we can kind of feel a little bit of the energy that all these people have left and we, we don't know how to process that so we, we say that's creepy. I don't know, but I'm at a place today that had a lot of history and I want to show it to you and I want to share it with you. Check out right here behind me. This is Virginia Intermont College. For over 130 years, it was a great place to get an education. A lot of people came through here. It closed in 2014 because they ran out of money. So what I would like for you to do is join me now as we explore the grounds of the now closed and empty Virginia Intermont College. Let's go. like to add that as fun as it is to go to places that maybe we're not supposed to be, maybe we sneak in somewhere, that's not really the case. The VI campus is patrolled by security and they are aware that we are here and they are just fine letting us take a few pictures and a little video and do a little stray dog snooping around. So we're not really doing anything we shouldn't be doing. We're not sneaking, we're not trespassing. As such, as security knows we're here, we have their permission to roam the grounds, so let's continue to roam. I know we're the only ones up here today that the wind has got this place alive. There are all kinds of sounds coming out of every one of these old buildings today. Makes it interesting. One of the more popular ghost stories about the VI campus involved a young lady named Vera who became involved with a teacher here at the school. And of course the relationship had to end because of the student-teacher problems. Vera became so depressed that she hung herself in her room and the story says that her swinging body knocked over a candle and the room burned. And the ghost story now says that anytime the room was renovated, it always ended up catching fire again. So the renovations never took. And from what I can gather, her room was just off the main hall breezeway in the dark portion of that breezeway. I'm guessing this is where it's at.
interesting bit of school history. Back in the day here where the tennis courts are now used to be where the equestrian grounds were located. They, at the closing of the school they were located off campus, but this is where they were back in the day. Here, let me boost you up and see what's in this old building. anything what the heck was in there I'm not sure what this rather interesting old building used to be I'm guessing seeing how it's very close to the tennis area that it did have to do with the college but as you can see it's a pretty darn old building and I don't see any type of signs or anything on it that say what it used to be. I guess I'll have to get on the net and brush up on my VI history just a little bit so we can figure out what this old building had to do with the college. These steps go. They go up. It's a fire escape. cinder blocks all along this roof and while I'm sure the roof is sturdy enough when you walk on these things they move and they give and they make noise and it feels like the roof is going to give in right under your feet it's kind of nerving actually but we're up here
Thanks for joining me today for this stray dog vlog, this haunted dog vlog. I had a little bit of ghost stories mixed in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little trip around the VI campus. And don't forget to go over to the Stray Dog Facebook page and check out a few photos that I took while I was here. I'd like to share those with you. So until next time, from me to you, I say, dog out.